boys and girls, it's Miss Heather again, and I'm here to read you a story. Today my story is called Red is a Dragon, a Book of Colors. So pay close attention to this book. It has amazing illustrations, and it's a rhyming book, which is kind of fun. I always enjoy reading rhyming books. And so see if you can pick up on some of the rhymes. Look at the beautiful colors. Red is a Dragon, a Book of Colors, written by Roseanne Thong, illustrated by Grace Lynn. Red is a dragon, red is a drum, red are the firecrackers, here they come. That looks like a lot of fun. Maybe Chinese New Year? Red are melons, cool and sweet. Red are lychees, a summer treat. Here's her melon, there's some of her lychees. Orange are the crabs that dance in the sand, and so is the seashell I hold in my hand. Look, she's got a seashell, and here's the crabs, the beach, and everybody's having fun. Yellow are incense sticks and flowers. Yellow are flames that burn for hours. See the little flame? These are incense sticks. Put them in there and then they make your house smell pretty good. So you can see right there. Yellow are raincoats and bright rubber boots. Yellow is a taxi that honks and toots. Here's the taxi we just talked about signs the other day. There's the taxi. And the mom's got an umbrella, but she's got her yellow rain slicker on. Oh, what color is this? Green are the toads beneath my pail. Bottle gourds and crunchy kale. Look at her garden. She's got beautiful gourds. Look at the toads are green and she's wearing a green shirt. She's got the green grass. Green is a bracelet made of jade. Green is the purse my auntie made. Here's her bracelet. Jade is a very pretty stone. And then here's her, here's her little purse. Look, her aunt has green earrings and a green necklace. Blue is a pool for making a wish. Dragonflies and shimmering fish. Look at this big pool and it's blue and the fish are so big and the dragonflies and she's got a blue shirt on. Blue are the sneakers on my shelf. Blue is the ribbon I won myself. Oh, she won first place for her drawing of her bamboo. It's beautiful. Oh, this is one of my favorite colors. Purple are clouds at the end of the day. Purple is a kite that sails away. You ever see the sky with its purple sunset just as the sun is going down and it's got all the pink and purple colors? It's beautiful. Pink is a peony. Pink is a rose. Pink is the sunlight on my nose. So here's a peony. It's a type of flower. And here's the roses, another type of flower. And then she's got pink because she's been out in the sun. A little bit of pink on her nose and her cheeks. Pink are an opera singer's eyes and a silk fan that hides her surprise. She's got this pink fan. Look at her. Pink eyes, pink cheeks. They're sitting at the opera. How fun. Brown is my grandpa's hat I wear. Brown is my favorite teddy bear. This is, must be her grandpa's hat because she's wearing it. I bet this is her grandpa. And her teddy bear is brown. White are noodles and chopsticks too. White are dumplings for me and you. Mmm, yum. I like dumplings. Using their chopsticks. The world is a rainbow for us to explore. What colors are waiting outside your door? And look, her whole, all of it came together. She's got the blue pond and the red dragon, her pink dress and the blue pond, and all the flowers and the melons. 
the purple sky. Beautiful. That is a wonderful story. And it is so much to read about rhyming. And it, doesn't it kind of take you to a different place? You go to kind of China where you see the different kind of things they eat and the different things they see. It's a beautiful book. Thanks for joining me.